a minute. I haven't done a haul in a long time. I haven't gone shopping in a long time. It's been, it's been a cleanse, but I am back. I am intoxicated with clothes again and we are thriving. So as you guys know, spring, summer, it's almost here. It's literally knocking at the door right now. And I felt it was my duty to really just make myself look presentable and make myself be on trend for the people because my job is really to just serve the people so that's why i spent more than around a thousand dollars on clothes in my defense like i said i literally haven't shopped at all well that's a lie i haven't done a huge shopping spree in a really long time the first store that i bought from is zara they have so many good pieces so the first thing i got ooh, is this little number right here so i got this like really cool cut out like white tank i got this because i thought that it's like it has like more detail than a regular white tank it has like this like really intense whew, cut out it almost reminds me of, like the oars and iris tops that look backwards is it gonna show my armpit fat yes i just thought this was really really cool like it's definitely like <clears throat> oh my god the next top I got is this pink bralette knit top. I think I'm gonna return it because it's just too short. But like the color and everything is so cute. I think, yeah, I just, I'm not gonna be reaching for it that often just because of how short it is. So it'll really, it'll be a waste. Ooh, okay. So I'm not sure if I like this. You guys tell me. This is like this almost distressed tank. I thought it was cool to add just like some detail over just like white jeans or something. I don't know. It does does it look too like a 2013 acid jean type vibe? We're stepping up our vests this season. Like each season, vests are always it. You just gotta upgrade it, you know? I really like this collar though. It has like a V-cut and a collar. It's just like this like white shirt. It, it definitely gives me like bougie mom, goes to tennis club and cheats on her million air husband type of vibes, you know? Here's a little cute brown moment. I just got like a bunch of like simple tanks and stuff because at home, I just, I literally just look like a potato. Like other people wear sweats or cute crop tops or something and they look cute and they feel cute when I'm at home. So I wanted to get these like simple tanks for the summer because even when I'm at home, I want to just put like one of these on and look kind of cute because when you look cute, you feel productive, you feel good about yourself and confidence is all we need to start the day. So a big trend this summer is shorts, but it's like shorts that are cut off like mid thigh almost like mom, 90s mom shorts. So I got these in white. They're kind of small. They're just very, very tight around the butt and the waist. Zara jeans are always a hit or miss for me, especially when I'm ordering online, just because like, I feel like their sizing varies so much from one jean to another jean. Like I could fit perfectly in one jean that's my size, but another jean that's the exact same size, like it literally fits like a toddler. I think these jeans are a hit because they are just like a high-waisted straight leg jean and they're a bit long but it's something that i can't manage you know but i just really like them because i don't like like straight leg jeans that are tapered at the ends i feel like it's just not like the style that i'm really looking for right now so i really like how these jeans are actually straight and give almost like a little bit of a baggy cool girl feel this is a purchase that i have no idea how i ended up with or ended up in my cart but it's just this pair of blue shorts i mean i'm not complaining they're cute just don't remember why i bought them okay this is gonna be a miss so crochet tops are really big for the spring and summer so i want to get one and on the model it'll look cute but i think this is just like too wide you know like if it was like not as wide and it fit me it would be really cute but it's just too big on me so i think i should return this i have been seeing this set all over tiktok and it looks so good on these girls so i had to get it it's like this cropped blazer set this beige blazer with a matching skirt i tried it on and i honestly don't think it looks as good as the set as it does individually like We'll start with the bottoms. The skirt is just so like nicely tailored and it definitely just gives off like a business vibe. Like I am here to get shit done and I look good while doing it. 
you know? It will go perfectly with like a crop top, especially if you're going for more like a formal night out, if you pair like a really nice top with it. But for the blazer, I think this can literally elevate like any dress, any outfit and make you look so much more sophisticated. Definitely less like a 14 year old girl, a more like a rich 40 year old woman. You know, sometimes you just fluctuate between these two vibes. But I really do like this top. I think it will go especially well during these next few months when it's like a bit chilly at night. You might want to layer up with a bougie blazer. The last thing I bought from Zara is this like blue tank top with white lining. I thought it gave me very like sporty 90s vibes and you know, the whole thing about the cute tank tops and like feeling productive. Yeah, we've already gone over the reason why I got this. But I really like it because I think it's like, it's a bit more cropped than usual, but still like really form fitting and really nice. So yeah. Next up we have Brandy Melville. Before you guys start typing your hate comments, I know, I like literally never shopped at Brandy ever in my entire life. I don't know why I caved, I really don't. I think I just needed some basics, but it's okay because I'm like returning like half the stuff anyways. I know literally like everything Brandy Melville stands for is so bad. I just needed some white tops though, okay? Don't kill me. I'll show you guys what I got and what I'm gonna return, but I, I feel like halter tops are really in this season and I wanted to get this just like a plain this basic white halter top. And the other white top I got is just like another vest. This reminds me of like like old Chinese dramas or movies I watched in like the 1920s or something. Like servant boys would wear like vests like these, but like oversized and gray. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but this is what I feel like, like a servant boy when I wear this. And one more return is this top, this is like gray mock neck top. And I thought it was cute, but it's just like the mock neck. I wasn't feeling it. So I think I'm gonna return this. And also I got this just like black, basic black dress. I don't really know why I got it. I'm not like a really big dress person. And this dress is also like really casual. So I just don't see myself wearing it a lot. So I'm just gonna return it. Next place I shopped, I am Gia. I really wanted to venture outside of my comfort zone. I think IMG has such like interesting, cool cut pieces. So I just like want to try it out and just play with my style. But I might have gone a little bit too adventurous, okay? Okay, so the first thing I got is like this like white sheer top, but like the boobs are kind of covered, I think. But I thought that this top is just like very like ethereal in like the sheerness and like, well, see, I have no idea how to wear this or what to even wear it with, but life's an adventure, clothing's an adventure. I, I just bought it, I, there's no justification. The next one, I really am a Barbie here. <laughs> it's like this, basically just like a bralette, like this pink bralette top and you have these wrapping around thingies, streamers that go around your body. And I thought this was so cute because it has this like little chain with Gia on it. But yeah, this is definitely more of a risque top, a scandalous top. I don't know if I would wear this to like a school day, but I think it would be cool for like a night out in the far future. Um, pictures, obviously, gotta get a good Instagram picture. This top, I think I'm gonna return. I just don't know how to wear this. So as you can see, there's a lot of cutouts on it. There's a huge cutout in the middle for the boobs. I, I thought it would be kind of cool to get this because it's just like such a cool cutout. I like the idea though, okay? The idea of it is good. The execution, not so much. Ooh, I do like this top from IMGO. It's just this top that ties in the back and definitely gives me like 2000 vibes. I think this would like be really cute to elevate any outfit because it has some flair to it, but it doesn't go over the edge. It's something that I'm still pretty comfortable with wearing, but still challenges my style. I don't know how you guys wear fake eyelashes. There's my eyelashes literally poking me in the eye. And the last thing I got from IMGO is an LBD, a little black dress. I know I showed you guys the black dress I got from Brandy Melville, but this one actually, it's like a bit, it's a upgrade. It's like a more of like a mesh material and it has like lace here and lace down here. And you know, I just thought that this would be a cute dress to wear 
um, to like any events I have to go to, any parties, any dinners, or anytime I just want to look up look up dress up and look good so that's all from the ing haul i'll show you guys a couple things that some companies sent me as well expired girl sent me two pieces from their brand the first is this like long sleeve top that has like a butterfly on it i think that's so cute it has like these like frills all around the sleeve and it, the sleeves are kind of like a bell bottom type sleeve so it opens up and i think this gives me like such like cool like indie hipster vibes you know this i think this will look really really cute with some like low rise jeans a bag sunglasses they also sent me this like blue gingham picnic dress that i thought that this was so cute it gives me such like baby doll vibes with this bow in the front and i just feel like a little porcelain china doll is that racially charged i don't know change also sent me a couple pieces from their collection um they sent me this they have like a really really cute just like sweat set collection for the summer they sent me this tank top like this like uh, green dye tank top with the matching shorts the shorts are a bit big on me though you see they're like kind of a little chunky so i might have to size down in the future thank you to change and expired girl for sending me those and lastly from everlane they sent me their newest pair of jeans the 90s cheeky jean and they're just like a classic straight leg ish mom jean so that is the end of my haul i hope that you guys enjoy my new spring and summer wardrobe and yeah got some little outfit inspiration if you guys did you guys should totally like this video and subscribe you know help a girl out anyways i hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day stay safe and as always i'll see you guys next time bye